shuffle and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Aries, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got the Wheel of Fortune and it's with Hermit. Now, the Wheel of Fortune, it's actually a card that reminds us that this too shall pass, whether it's good times or bad times, it passes. If all of a sudden you find yourself sitting on top of the world, keep your perspective as that too, like everything else, changes. You have to live in the now, count your blessings, and just realize that much of life is, is really outside of our control. But even that's okay. Roll with the changes and think positive. Wheel of Fortune is with the Hermit, which can be a very spiritual card. It could have something to do with institutions, large organizations, everything from a bank to an entire Christian church. It's kind of like the Strength card in the Tarot. You could be in the frame of mind where you need some time alone. Don't be afraid to take it. Even if it's just a five minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head. This can also be a card about trying really hard to do the right thing. But you want to make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what's right for you personally. And not just worrying about, worrying about the wants and needs of others. So, being that the Wheel of Fortune is clarified by the Hermit for the recent past energy between you and your person, what I'm getting is that, the message that I'm getting is that, you could be trying to spend time alone to clear, to clear or get rid of this person's energy, because I'm kidding, for a lot of you, you feel like you need to cleanse. So some of you will choose to meditate, contemplate, spend some time alone. Yeah, a lot of you, if you're realizing you need to clear your mind. Yeah, you're trying to clear, clear your person's energy from you. Um, and you know that once you do this, the will, you've got the, with the will of fortune here, you feel like you're going to be much more better off. Things will be going in your favor. Because the, the will of fortune is about good luck. Fortune, being fortunate, having fortune in your favor. So you're trying to get that, you're trying to, um, like I said, clear your mind, get rid of some baggage. A lot of you are doing it through meditation and deep thought and spending time alone. And you want this because you want to feel lucky again. You want to feel good again about life, about people. Overall, you want fortune to be in your favor. And right now you're feeling that it's not because you, you've got um, some past energy of your person and it's clinging to you. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Now we got this temperance card and it's with the four pinnacles. Now temperance with this card, all your relationships, they're likely to be going somewhat well. You may need to look at any deeper personal issues and see if or how they're standing in your way. And if they are, how to work through them and integrate them. Because the idea now is to do what it takes to find balance in yourself and in your relationships. And with any goals and aspirations that you might have. 
Now to the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles can actually be about holding on to things, people, money, or situations longer than it's healthy, longer than it's realistic. So when this card appears in the reading, it's a sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to and, and whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. Four of Pentacles can point to anxiety, fear, could be about money, or clinging to whatever it is that makes you feel secure. But, but the key is to try to realize that being anxious and grasping, it does not bring security. Yeah. Yeah. The Four of Pentacles is the card below the word present. It kind of speaks for itself. You see how this man is... He's clinging on to his pinnacles. He's got his hands on his money and he's got his feet on his money. His eyes look like they're about to pop out of his head and his brain looks like it's about to explode. Or his head looks like it's about to explode. If a huge brick fell out of the sky and knocked him across his head or tried to knock him over, He'd still be in that same position, just very resistant, holding on really firm. So, coming up for you, Aries Temperance, clarified by this Four of Pentacles. Yeah, like I said, I'm just getting that a lot of you, you're trying to get rid of this person's energy from you. Because you, you, you know that life goes on. And you're wanting to feel good again. You're wanting to feel lucky again. You want things to go well for you again with the work fortune here. But it looks like a lot of you could be struggling. Because coming up, it, it looks like you're still trying to bring that balance back into your life with temperance here. Yeah, you're still still trying to pull it together, but it's not bad. It's just it mean it just means that you it's gonna take some time. You're gonna have to put more effort and energy into it because temperance is showing that you're still trying to find a peace of mind. So you're working on it, which is actually a good thing. Also, when you get temperance, you want to make sure. To look at what you feel guilty about, if there are any things, anything you felt guilty about in the relationship, any mistakes that you feel you've made, you have to forgive yourself and let it go because it's really the only way you're going to make progress and be able to move on to the next in a healthy way. But because it's with the Four of Pentacles, yeah, you're really struggling. To cleanse this person's energy, you're struggling to move on. Because this four of pentacles, they, they cling on in an unhealthy way. Very unhealthy. So, yeah, it's, it's just going to take more work, that's all. Yeah, you started by meditating and contemplating and spending time alone. Now you're doing other things to bring the balance back but it's hard for a lot of you because I can't I can't take my eyes off of this four of pentacles you're still holding on really tight to someone but you know that needs to change because it's nothing like freeing freeing your mind and getting rid of the baggage because you know that the will fortune is saying that's when the luck comes in but let's move on over let's take a look and see what the challenge is so we got judgment ends with the ten of swords now judgment can be a card about jumping to conclusions decisions and of course, and of course judgments that are made too hastily and if you know that you're prone to doing such things it can be a signal to slow down, give things more thought, give people more chances. This could also be a time of spiritual awakening. 
Now look at the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is a sign to be careful about where you put your trust. When it comes up in a reading, to a question as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you or trust that a situation is stable, well, it's a pretty clear answer of no. However, you have to keep in mind, whenever a door closes, another the door opens, you're being guided to a situation better for you. Trust yourself and trust the universe. So, coming up, Aries, judgment clarified by Ten of Swords. So, yeah. This person that you're dealing with, that you were involved with, or you, some of you are still dealing with them, they could be very judgmental toward you. Yeah, very ju judging you really harshly. They could have been the type that jumped to a lot of conclusions. A lot of conclusions. Or that's what they could be doing now, if you're still dealing with this person. And it's just making you feel like this Ten of Swords, like the connection is, it wasn't stable. Or like I said, if you're still dealing with this person, you're feeling that it's, you're trusting that it's not going to be stable. Yeah. Yeah, your person could have been the type that had a hard time forgiving. It's like they could make a mistake, but oh boy, don't you make a mistake. They, they would never let it go. So you just feel like the connection is no longer, you don't trust that it's going to be stable. So let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. We've got the Knight of Pentacles and it's with the Ace of Cups. Now the Knight of Pentacles is actually a really, really good energy. Very good energy. Um, it's about stability. Yeah, this Nine of Pentacles is a very solid, stable, committed type of energy. Um, this type of person would be practical, patient, protective. Yeah, committed type, stable, solid. Um, Very good energy. It's just practical. The Nine of Pentacles is the type that makes a good father. A good father, f father or father figure. Very loyal. Nine of Pentacles can be your knight in shining armor. Now it's with the Ace of Cups, which is a beautiful card. Ace of Cups is very powerful. It's a positive card in the deck when it, when it comes to love, happiness, and affection. Like all the aces, it's about new beginnings. And although it usually means love, it can indicate new beginnings in other areas of your life. So things are looking up. People will respond to you with love, happiness, and goodwill more than usually. So you should be feeling good about life overall, and it's a great time to make friends. So your outcome, Aries, Knight of Pentacles, clarified by this Ace of Cups. So, yeah, your person, it looks like they could be reaching out to you. You see how this Knight of Pentacles is a card above the word outcome? He's on this squirrel. It looked like, I guess that's a squirrel. He's on something and he's charging in. He's about to take off. Your person could be long distance. This person wants to reach out to you or they, they are on their way to be with you. They want to talk about making the connection more stable. They know that it was, it was off. They know that things were messed up. And they know that it needs, it needs to change for the better. Because the Nine of Pentacles, like I said, it's about commitment. It's about being loyal. It's about stability. This person actually has a lot of love for you with this Ace of Cups, Aries. A whole lot of love. The Ace of Cups can, can mean deep attraction, it can mean warmth, and like I said, happiness, love, this is what they want with you. They, this person does have emotions for you. They know things were not right, and things were unstable. But yeah, 
if you're wondering if they're going to reach out to you, for some of you, it's saying yes. Here they, here they come, wanting to make things right and get things back on track. They have a lot of love for you, Aries. And that's the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonated. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended on this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Aries, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care. Please come make and join me for the next Aries reading, just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind when you get the readings, the roles can be switched. You can actually be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend. It could be a family member, maybe a co-worker or a situation. So just take the readings for how it resonates because once again, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So, Aries, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I'm wishing all of you happy holidays. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.